My name is Jay Murphy. I work at Trionia, an online marketing and website development firm. Today I'm going to show you how we use the Google Analytics debugger for testing our analytics code on websites that we work with. Uh, last time I showed you how to use the Tag Assistant, and now for an even more in-depth view of your Google Analytics, uh, you use the Google Analytics debugger. First thing you need to do is go to the Chrome store and search for the debugger. You can use Google Analytics debugger, GA debugger, and you will find it. And then you click on the Add to Chrome, and it will get installed on your, your version of Chrome. You'll see this envelope in the upper right hand corner. At first it says GA debug off. Click on it and the red on button will come on and now you know that Google Analytics is running. So now how do you use it? Well, go to a website, uh, hit refresh so that it reloads the Google Analytics code and then hit Control shift j to open up the console. And in the console what you'll see is all the information about your Google Analytics right within the JavaScript console. It's a great tool. It shows you that set account was run and it ran correctly. Track page view was sent. And then it even shows the beacon, the uh, query string that gets sent to Google Analytics. And then it gets broken up into all of the components of the beacon as well. So you can tell a lot of information about your Google Analytics right here. And so the Google Analytics debugger gives you all of that great information all in one place so that you can check not just page views but other more complex uses of Google Analytics like e-commerce tracking, uh, custom URL tagging, events, you name it. Um, those pieces can all be checked using the debugger and we're going to show some of those in upcoming videos and also please feel free to let us know ideas that you'd like to cover as well.